Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Sky Factor 2.5. Um, if you look up in the top left corner there, we're on day 245. I might have left this running for like a day and a half. Maybe. <laughs> um, what I'm doing though, mostly nothing, just kind of standing here AFK, uh, but I'm testing a couple of storage options and that's pretty much what we're going to be doing today is talking about storage and upgrading a few things first though let me show you what I, ha I have done this is what I set up pretty much right at the end of last episode or right after last episode um, I've got all these caches here or cache if you want to be fancy about it um, these I had here before arrows, bones, and there's uh, zombie flesh, rotten flesh on the other side there and I have a filing cabinet collecting bows. Ton of those. Uh, I've got one for gunpowder here. On the other side, string and ender pearls. <clears throat> um, also, I went ahead and made a few more for all these loot bags because they were taking up a lot of inventory space in the chest here. So I've got common, uncommon, rare, and the one that has cake in it, worn out, right there. And then we've got epic, legendary, and Sorin, which I've only got three of apparently in almost two days. Two legendaries, and those I made myself. They have a 0% drop chance. Um... And then I've also got one bacon bag somewhere right there. And I've got um, 20 of these common Thomcraft ones and 18 of the uncommon Thomcraft bags. Do these have a use? Seems like no. Okay. Uh, but I decided to go ahead and start stockpiling these. I've got 280 commons in here, 103 uncommons, 80 rares. I'm going to be crafting these into the next highest tier, all the way up to Legendary here. That's the highest one you can actually craft together. And when I get about 25 or so of those, um, I will crack them all open on camera, and we'll see what all we get out of the highest tier loot bag here. I also made this Recycler. I've got 26 common bags in that now. Uh, the Loot Recycler basically it has a list of all the possible items you can get from a loot bag. Oh, turn into nighttime. Let me go ahead and sleep real quick while I talk. Uh, it knows all the items that you can get out of loot bags of any tier, and it takes them in and converts them into, I don't know, some kind of matter or whatever. And whenever it gets to a certain amount, it will kick out a common loot bag. Uh, and there are. Uh, let's see, It's it needs to go to 2,000. Each item has its own kind of value. Um, and it's at 1731, so I've almost got another bag out of it. But when it gets up to 2,000 there, it'll kick out another loot bag, and it'll be at 27. Uh, but it knows all the items, so even if you don't get the item from a loot bag, you can still put it in here and make a loot bag out of it. So, I'm going to go and take these out. and uh, toss them in here. Now we're at 306 commons. It takes four of these to make an uncommon, four uncommons to make a rare, etc, etc. So from here we go four, 16, on and on and on until we get to legendary. So uh, it's going to be quite a few bags. Now as far as chest storage I need to upgrade this chest right here cuz it's getting pretty full um, I'm almost to three stacks of gold stack and a half of iron which I've been using a lot of iron so I've probably gone through a few stacks already uh, but there are a lot of different types of uh, ingots and bricks and metals and stuff so before this gets full and backs up into our transfer node, I want to upgrade this chest. 
Also, we are going to be upgrading tanks, but not those over there. Those need to stay because uh, those I can actually attach faucets to. We need to upgrade. Let me go back over here. This tank right here underneath the mob grinder. So that's a hardened portable tank. The portable tanks start with uh, copper and glass, and they hold 8,000, which is half as much as those over there at the cow, fluid cow place. The next highest one, which I have here, you take that tank and add invar, so for invar, to make it hold 32,000, which is double that tank over there. So you get four times the use out of it four times the storage space. The next one up is reinforced and this takes hardened glass. So we need an induction smelter which I already made believe it or not. Um, we need to pulverize some obsidian and get some lead ingots and I've got those already ready to go. Not the pulverized obsidian though. I do have a pulverizer though from last episode. And then after that we can actually go straight up to resonant which holds 512,000 mellow buckets, so 512 buckets. And that just takes the reinforced tank with some enderium, and we've got enderium over there in our fluid cow farm. So we can make these tanks all day, basically, is what I'm saying, because we've got all the metals that we need to upgrade from copper and glass to enderium all the way up. Uh, obsidian right here. We've got our little obsidian maker. Plus, I've been getting obsidian out of some of the loot bags, so I've got 24 here. Uh, if I really need to, which I don't, I can make an obsidian seed over there. Uh, this is where I stuck the pulverizer and induction smelter, by the way. They're running off of this uh, solar panel, because the harvester actually does not take that much power. Uh, and there's a hardened portable tank here also. I will be upgrading that one. Anyway, uh, let's get started. So let me go ahead and grab some obsidian. It takes four per tank, and each one obsidian grinds into two. So we need two obsidian per tank we're going to do here. Uh, so one, two, let's go ahead and do at least three tanks. Let me think, where's another one that I wanted to do? Maybe that tank there that has lava in it. But I do kind of want this to be a full block, just because it looks cool. Oh, this one, right. That one with lava in it. All right, so we're going to do three. Or did I count that one? Whatever, we're doing three anyway. <laughs> All right, so while that's running, let's go kick some enderium out of our uh, tanks back here. All the cows are doing fine. We haven't lost any guys. They haven't uh, glitched through the walls or anything. Uh, we don't have any new ones either. These are all the exact same ones I've had for a while now. Alright, let me just check Enderium. Alright, so we're going to need uh, 12. And we're back. Okay. Got our 12 Enderium and... Obsidian is done. Now, did I make too much? Okay, that might be too much. <laughs> Whatever. Um, so we need the obsidian and lead. Maybe it's not... Um, maybe it's not two each. Maybe it's more than that. Yeah, it's six each. Wow, okay. Um, no, I put in six. It's four each. All right, never mind. Still, I've got a little bit extra. Um, so let's run back over here. We're going to just make a ton of this. And 
that's not even taking a dent out of this solar panel. Cool. How much is it using? 40 per tick. That's not bad. Well, let's run it. Let me show you what else I've done. I forgot to mention last episode, because uh, I made these between last episode and the one before that. Uh, I upgraded all my tools and weapons here to platinum, to shiny metal. So here are the full stats on the broadsword. You can pause the video if you want to check it over. Here is the pickaxe. A hatchet. And uh, the medic. So, if you were curious what happened to the tools between a couple of episodes and I failed to mention it, that's what happened to them. Alright. Uh, back here, I go ahead. I went ahead and set this up with like 10 stacks of cobblestone. So this is all kind of working. These solar panels are not keeping up. So I'm going to have to uh, upgrade these tier 2s all up to tier 3s. Or at least make one tier 3. Uh, I did make this little efficiency upgrade here. Which does not help at all for this low of a tier of solar panel because it only adds 5% power generation so whenever this thing is at run in full tilt normally it's at 16 RF per tick um, this recipe took a little while to put together I had to actually make an induction smelter to craft this otherwise it was fine uh, but after I got it put together, it only added one RF per tick to the generation at maximum. So it's not useful for any solar panel less than like three, probably. Because the tier three is like four times this power. So it'll you'll get like four out of it. Maybe five. Anyway, let me take these out. I'm moving these over manually so they don't get... Uh, turned into blocks but anyway so you've seen this before sieve goes into compactor compressor compressor makes them into the gravel blocks and the gravel blocks are going in this chest here again this has been running for like a day so we've got a pretty good amount of backstock here uh, I'm putting the like lapis flint coal all that in this chest and it's getting sorted out into these caches back here just to keep everything nice and organized and uh, I have them sorted by uh, more or less assumed value so flint, coal, lapis, emerald, and then diamond and I say assumed value because this is just kind of the way that I see them as a ranking in value but it doesn't really matter they could all just be in a stack or whatever it doesn't it doesn't matter uh, but I also have a couple of speed upgrades in this transfer node just to help it keep this chest clear. Uh, and I crafted four and got one from a loot bag, so there's five in there. Anyway, uh, let me go ahead and sleep. That is another issue, which I'll have to work out in the next few episodes, is power generation. Uh, I kind of don't want to rely on solar power as much as I am. It's just an easy option at the moment because um, at nighttime everything starts draining and I want stuff to be getting power non-stop 24-7. Yeah, a couple of them don't have a problem at all, but there's a few of our solar panels that are being drained all the time and I'd rather them stay full. Or not that they stay full, but that the machine they're powering not uh, get depleted very easily. All right, let's go ahead and craft our tanks. This should be done. Yeah. Oh, I actually need more. Huh. Well, let's throw some more. Uh... Well, no. Never mind. That's 12. That's enough for three, three tanks there. So, okay. So, hardened portable tank. And it does keep the fluid whenever you craft it. 32,000 essence. 
we look at the result, 32 out of 128,000 essence. So we take that out. Now we're going to go from reinforced to in <coughs> resonant, 32,000 out of 512,000. So now we can hold a ton of this mob essence. And the reason I'm even pulling this out at all is because when the essence is out of this tank, the uh, internal grinder storage here, the idle time is much less. It works faster, I think. Maybe I've got that wrong for the grinder. I know that is true for the harvester, though. It slows down the more sludge is in it. So that one I really wanted to take care of. It's not backed up yet, but when it does back up, yeah, the uh, 5 tick idle time here goes up to like 16 ticks. So it just about triples, a little over triples, I mean. So that is um, being exported into the tank here. So let's go ahead and pop that off. Go craft this one up. Can I just do this? No, there's some recipes that allow you to do that, where you can put both of the next two tiers material together. There we go, resonant. 13,450 out of 512. Bam. Oh, and one just got harvested. Uh, so I went ahead and made a whole bunch of more of these Mendocino seeds and planted them. So we have a full field now. There's an empty spot right there. Is that going to be replanted? Or am I one short? I might be one short. Yep, okay, so I'm one seed short of a full field here. <laughs> Uh, not a metaphor. Literally one seed. Alright, next tank on the list is our fluid tank with lava right back here. This one I try to keep as full as possible. Oh, that one is still actually the copper tier. So, we need to get some invar first. I haven't upgraded this one at all. Uh, Invar, where are you? Right there. I've only got three left. I'll have to make some more. Alright, so hardened. Then we add hardened glass to go to reinforced. Add the enderium resonance. Now we can hold 512 buckets of lava. This is going to totally empty our system. And we can't even see it in the tank yet. That's how little there is in there. Okay, eh, you can kind of see it. There it goes. Starting to fill up. There we go. Now it's just getting the input from the crucible. Yep. Alright, let me take that down. I'm going to put this right here. Now there's this thing I got out of a loot bag called a stack upgrade. And I wasn't quite sure how it worked, and now I do. did a little bit of research on it. Let's take this transfer node. So transfer nodes usually, like that one up there was doing, will transfer one item at a time, or they will fill up to one item at a time, until uh, they find an inventory to put those items into, then they will send them on their way down the pipe while they pick up more items and search for an inventory. Well, with the stack upgrade, if they are directly adjacent to a storage space, they will pull an entire stack of items at a time or 2,000 fluid at a time from the connected inventory to wherever they're going. So, if we look at this, it's only pulling 200 at a time out of that tank, and that could take a second. But we throw the stack upgrade in there, it pulls 8,000, not 2,000. 
8,000 at a time. So it only took two ticks <laughs> to uh, pull all 16,000 out of there into here. So uh, I think what I'm going to do here, let me get rid of that for just a second. Take this back down. Come on. Let's get rid of that tank. And I'm going to put this one right there so that we can fill it from the source. And we'll put this one over here. And whenever this one gets more full, I'll swap them back. Huh. Or I could just make another one and put it there. But we don't need that much lava storage. This one will be enough. Alright, put the extra lead ingots away. Put our stack upgrade back in here. Alright, now uh, let's go for chest upgrades. What are we at for time? 22 minutes. Wow, that took longer than I thought it was going to. Okay, so chest upgrades. Normal chest holds 9 by 3. That's not enough. So let's say we want to upgrade this to an iron chest. So we just need a chest and iron ingots around it. So we need 8. Like so. And I'm going to craft this over here. Oh, there's also these little mini chests. Let me go ahead and show you these real quick. So you can take a, a chest and break it down into nine of these little mini chests. They look like this. And they hold one stack of items. They only have one inventory slot. So not very practical for massive storage like I'm trying to do. But if you need a buffer for stacks of items going through like you know pipe sections or into or out of some machine, that's your guy right there. So, oh, that was, okay. Wow, I'm not used to this axe being that fast. Mining speed 15, yeah. Not used to it. Anyway, it took half the floor out. Uh, let's put that back together. Go ahead and make our iron chest. Now this one holds 9 by 6. Let me see, 3, 6, yeah, 9 by 6. So that's two chests worth of inventory. That's already enough, but it's not enough. So we're going to go up to gold chest. Let me see, does this work? No, it doesn't. All right, I'm just seeing if my wrench works on it. Let's go up to, I'll make it over here. This is why I put crafting tables everywhere. All right, we're going up to gold chest. This holds... 9 by 369, so 81. From there we go up to diamond chest, which needs 6 glass and 2 diamonds instead of a circle of 8 diamonds. Now does this need special kind of glass, or can I just use regular? Not quite sure. We can also use one extra diamond and go straight from silver to diamond. I don't know. Sure, I'm not sure how to get to silver though. I think you have to go from uh, the regular chest to copper to silver and then up to diamond. Slightly larger chest, huh? Wonder how much inventory that one holds. We might as well check, right? getting all kinds of chests out of our mob farm slightly larger chest what nine by three what <laughs> uh, okay that looks like the exact same amount of inventory but yeah it is a slightly larger chest so it's a full block instead of 
a little bit less than a full block. I don't know why you would use that though. Huh. Let's compare one to the other. I guess if you wanted to alternate chests without having to make like um, trap chests, you could do that because they don't connect. And that does look a little weird, doesn't it? Because the latch is flat on the face because it takes up the full block. Huh. Oh well. Alright, so let me try regular glass if I've got any. I've got one. Perfect. Um, how about... We make some glass. Let me see, I think this is the recipe, yes. So the earth essence and fire essence you can combine to make um, sand and different kinds of stone, depending on how you put them in the crafting grid. And I moved all my coal. I should probably keep a stack over there next to the... next to the furnace. Or maybe move the furnace to where the coal is can't shift click that into there I try that every time never works alright um you know actually I might cut the episode here we're at 20 almost 28 minutes minus the cut that I did earlier over there uh, so I will cut it here and we'll pick up in the next episode which I will record starting in just a second. So until you get that episode up, I will see you later.